we're going to work from cross body, from side control. How many times? This way, very common. But what, what is the vulnerability of my elbow being on the outside if he has good hip movement? A little bit of space, he puts his knee in. See? Either knee. So one of the ways is you get better with your, your hip movement, your partners are going to be shutting down the entire inside. See? Now it's like, I always look at it, can I get out? Uh, the expression I always use is sometimes the juice is not worth the squeeze. It's too much work to bring the knee inside. But there's nothing blocking the outside. So the idea here is, but actually let's switch, because I know your hands are going to want to. He's going to block inside, exactly, see? And right now, this arm is trapped. I need to free my shoulder. So we combine a little bit of fundamental jujitsu. This hand is framing. I'm gonna do a little upa just to punch my shoulder through. And once I get here, see my hand? I'm not touching his shoulder. I move my hip all the way out and watch what happens when I do. Now, two options. I can start moving, moving, moving. Look at all the room I have to get my guard back. Holding me. And now it's neutral. There's sufficient space for me to turtle. Never ever turtle. Never turtle here. You're giving them your back. Hips too close. This far out. See? Look how far my hip is. The point of the exercise right now, for you guys, if you're a newer student, you want your partner to work really hard if they're gonna finish you. I want him to chase me a little bit. My hip is too close to him. I want my hip out here. No matter what I plan on doing, even if I'm just gonna stay on the bottom and he's gonna continue to hold me, look at him, let's chase me. But the idea here is I want to open a little space to get my shoulder out. As I turn my back, see the legs? When you move your hip out, the bottom arm, just keep it right in line with his shoulder. It's not worth messing with this now. As soon as you move out, you are going to feel the shoulder on your hand. Now I can come right back in to escape. Or turtle. If you're a newer student, I prefer you bring the knee back in, recover your guard. But I have no problem if you want to explore the turtle. But, like I said, make sure you hit this far away before you do. Is it feet first? Is it get your head out? Is it get your shoulders out? Get your hips out? Like, what's your order? If, when you... First of all, the elbows tight. All of this becomes more problematic. He hooks my arm. Now I'm not going anywhere. So this is one situation where I have to make sure when I turn, because you notice his hands right now are not committed to, to me. So as soon as I turn, my elbows are like this. And the minute I feel his hand try to like penetrate to make a hook, I'm out. I have to move. If, if they hold, this is a different game. I need to stay tight and be close and work on getting my elbow out, or we have a couple of options from here. But to answer your question, elbows first, and then when I, once I give, potentially give my back, this hand is always looking to intercept anything that may come around my neck. This hand is gonna be the framing hand. So when I move my hip out, it's right there. Uh, for a second, I'm blocking him, but you see where my hip is. Then you can go this way, or this way. If you don't allow them to get under your elbows, you have the freedom to go whichever way you want. So that would, that's always my primary answer, elbows tight. You're welcome. Everybody else, we good? Let's go, one, two, three. Yeah.